Hello and welcome to a Charlotte Hornets game review. So today's game review is for the Charlotte Hornets second preseason match which was against the Memphis Grizzlies hosted at the Spectrum Centre for the first time this season. Right, so the game ended 128 to 98 in favour of the Memphis Grizzlies who yeah, set the tone early scoring 73 points in the first half to the Hornets pretty dismal 43. Um yeah. This was just a make or miss league and we missed a lot more than we made, that's for sure. The Grizzlies shot 50% in general and the Hornets shot 36.4 and 24.4% from three, which is not good. Um, Yeah, so just a wee bit of analysis on the game in terms of stats. We had Stephen Adams just dominating the Hornets. I tweeted out something like there was, in six minutes of play, Stephen Adams had nine rebounds. I mean, it kind of just sums up the game. It's just got, what's going to happen. We were out without Mason Plumley, and we were left with some young centres that really are developing. And you know you've got PJ Washington, that is a small ball five, and you've got one of the strongest, biggest guys in Stephen Adams in the league, who's just going to dominate. Um, so he had fifteen and sixteen respectively. Jama Rant with sixteen points and eight re- <laughs> eight assists, should I say? Desmond Bain was crazy efficient with. 19 points, shooting 72.7% from the field. Jaron Jackson Jr. was good with 16, and um, DeAnthony Melton was good with 11 as well. And, yeah, Tyce Jones had 11, they hurt. Um, For the Hornets, it was mainly just poor shooting that led to the downfall, and the inability to get rebounds as well did not help. Um, We had Miles Bridges with 14, and Terry Rozier with 21, just shooting like Terry does, you know? Five of nine from three. Do- Terry doing Terry three things. Mallow had 13 and seven. He was average, shooting five of 17. Uh, Booknight was 17. Um, yeah, so he's the top scorer at the moment, I think, James Booknight is. But, you know, they, they all came basically in the last quarter in mostly garbage time minutes. But still, he's shown that he can score in the NBA. Um... That was really it for the Hornets. We got a glimpse of JT Thor. He was shooting a nice ball, to be fair, for the bit. He was out there, and yeah, that was about it. So, on to my things that I said before the game that I was looking out for. The first one was, who will start at centre with Plumlee out? I predicted it would be PJ, and it was PJ. Um, Yeah. Uh, number two, can James Booknight and Jalen McDaniels back up their impressive first game performances with another one? Um, Jalen McDaniels didn't. He had seven points, three rebounds, shot two of, uh, shot three of thirteen. So really inefficient for Jalen tonight. Um, James Booknight did good, yeah. Shoot, shooting seven of sixteen, and yeah, I, I, Booknight's performance wasn't as good as his last. To be fair, but still, points is points. McDaniels. Couldn't back it up, sadly. Um, will guys like Terry Mallow and Miles Bridges play more than 20 minutes? Well, turns out they all did. We have uh, Miles Bridges score, <laughs> playing 26 minutes, Rogier 24, Ball 23. Um, yeah. So that is the f- second game review for the Charlotte Hornets this season. A bit of a disappointing game, um, getting pretty much dominated from end end by the Memphis Grizzlies. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button and make sure to subscribe to always see these kind of videos. Alright, have a good day. I'm out.